Hey friends, and welcome to the tutorial on how to download your Vintage Society Co. Lightroom preset. After you've been to our shop and you've gotten that Lightroom preset, you're going to receive an email similar to this. Click on the Vintage Society preset under that download box and a white screen is going to appear. Let the page fully load. I know it takes a while, but I promise good stuff is waiting for you. After the page fully loads, you'll see a box with the up arrow at the bottom of your screen. When you click on this button, a new page will pop up and it will allow you to save image. After you've clicked save image, the page will disappear and you can exit out of here going back to your main page. Select the Lightroom app and in the bottom right hand corner there's a square with a plus button. Select that and you'll see a black box that says DNG. Select that box and a black screen appears and it looks like something's gone wrong but nothing has. Click on the check mark and this screen will disappear and you'll now see a pretty image of Deb on her front porch with DNG. Click on that box, the three dots in the upper right hand corner, select that and it will allow you to create preset. Leave all of the boxes checked and then rename your preset Vintage Society. After you've renamed the preset, press that check mark button and just like that, the preset has now been downloaded onto your phone. You can use the back arrow to go out of here, select the plus button at the bottom of the screen, select an image to edit, slide to the right, press presets, select the vintage society, and the preset will be applied to your image. You'll notice that it doesn't straighten or crop your image. Press the check mark and go into the crop tool. I like using the straighten feature because it finds most of the straight lines and adjusts your image accordingly. There you have it, your image is now edited. You'll need to press the check mark in the upper right hand corner and then go back into the image for exporting. Use the square button with the up arrow in the top part of your screen and it will pop up a box allowing you to save to camera roll. I like selecting maximum available and just like that the image is now saved on your camera roll and you can use it as you please. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we want you to share your edited images with us using the hashtag VintageSocietyPreset.